Hello and welcome back. If you're new, hello, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. So today we are talking about all of the favourite things, mostly from October and September because I didn't really do one in September and I thought I'd just do a bit of a roundup really and catch you up on what I've been loving. We are going to start with the face. My face. <laughs> I'm in a funny mood. So we have this foundation. This is Gosh Exceptional Wear Foundation. Um, I actually did a bit of a review on this foundation and um, I generally just really enjoy wearing it. It's really easy to apply. It's not the longest wearing foundation out there as I discovered not too long ago when I was doing like 12 hour days and halfway through it'd be gone. So it isn't the longest wearing. However, I just really like the you know, it's a nice medium coverage. It's easy on my skin, doesn't cause any kind of irritation. And it just gives that nice bit of glow about it. So it's really nice. I will link the um, review on screen so you can go and check it out for yourself and you can see it applied and everything. But yeah, and it's a good shade match. It's 11 porcelain and I am pretty goddamn pale. So this is good, winner. Uh, while we're also on the face, we shall do this. This is the Makeup Revolution Highlight Palette. And I am a big fan of this palette. Uh, I have been using it every time I've applied my makeup. I've put on this, the essential one today. I've actually done a wee bit of a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing today, so you can check that out. If it's not up, it will be up. Link somewhere. Um, or you can just check out one of the most recent videos. So yes, really enjoy this palette. I like the selection and I have been doing a fair about, uh, bit of tripping about and I have more tripping about to do over the next few months. So I want something I can just put in my bag and cover all my bases for my highlighting needs. And this most definitely does. We've got this nice lavendery colour, I've got a more of a peachy toned and then you've just got this iridescent colour. It's perfect. It's just really, really good and it's a nice amount of highlight. I tend to apply depending on when I'm engaging my brain, but I like to apply my highlight underneath my blush because I have large pores, so if I do highlight then blush, it just doesn't accentuate the pores quite so much, um, while still giving a nice thing, which is, you know, what a girl needs. Um, yeah, really, really like it, and it's an absolute bargain. I mean, seriously. So, go check it out if you haven't already. It has been around, for, it has been around for quite some time, so haven't seen it what rock have you been hiding under anyway go check that out faceness we'll go on to lips I have a few lips and I have not actually worn either of them today I'm very very sorry but um, they have appeared on Instagram maybe a few times it's this combination is the first one this is Fleur Mar waterproof lip liner in number 229 which is just a really nice pinky nude which is perfect for me because I've tried brownie nudes and unless I'm wearing the right kind of eyeshadow it just does not work. Uh, I have to be really careful with it but this works pretty well and it is one I can get away with with other you know with multiple lipsticks so I really like this. You don't always have to wear a lip liner but I like them and I've been combining it with this L'Oreal uh, lip gloss in Protest Queen. And as you can see, it's much more of a taupey, nude, creamy colour. It is a pinky, taupey shade. And they just work really, really nice together for that sort of glossy day look. The more we're going into winter, most people start to do dry sting. I'm starting to add even more highlight and glossiness. I'm doing this back to front, people. Anyway, wear what you will. I really, really enjoy that. Uh, really, really enjoy that combination. Next we have this, I believe, is from Jordana. Everything has rubbed off. I'm not entirely sure. It's very similar to the Revlon lip butters, so I think it's the Giordana one I have. I really like this. I've had this for donkeys, and I keep coming back to it, and at the minute it's perfect because the weather has got really chilly. My lips are chapped to pieces for some reason, um, so it's nice to have sort of cool tone, pinky, nudie shade that I can pop on. And I like this with just a bit of eyeliner, a bit of mascara, and pop this on if I want for minimal makeup just does a really good job of keeping my lips hydrated and I can easily reapply it without worrying it's going to be all over my face and that kind of jazz. These lip pencils are like the jumbo pencils. They come back round and they're very very handy to have so really really enjoying that. Another lip product that I've been really enjoying is the Revlon, I think it's the Just Kiss of a Bam Stains. Do you remember these? They're still out there but it's just quite amusing. This one is in Honey and and this is just another really nice sort of everyday nude. It's kind of more warm to it. So it works really well. Really, really like this. It's another nice and creamy sort of balm that you can wear every day and you don't have to worry 
that you're going to make a mess of your face again. So yes, really, really enjoy this one. Recommend checking it out if you haven't already. Definitely do. While we're on lips, my lips, like I said, they were gone to pot completely. So I went rummaging and I discovered this Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for lips. And this is one of these lip balms that has lanolin in it. So it has, you know, it's quite a thick, waxy kind of balm. But it has been doing a really good job of hydrating my lips. They're almost back to normal. I need to use more lip scrub to get rid of the last little dead skin. But pop this on at night. I can kind of still feel it in the morning. So it has got that protective layer that almost seals your lip of a night time. And really does do a really good job of hydrating. And it's just very handy. And I've got like a miniature version. I'm, I'm almost gone, people. So... I'm gonna be very upset when this disappears. I have got some samples left, but I might have to give in and get it. I actually prefer this over, there's another well-known one that I can't remember right now, but I prefer this one. I really, really enjoy it. Definitely recommend checking it out. Really enjoy it. Now, we'll go on to eyes. We're still on the makeup, so we'll go on to eyes. The next is the Makeup Academy, the MUA, um, 15 Shade Palette in Fire Vixen. I really enjoy this palette. This has come with me to some events recently because there's a really good selection of colours. You can get multiple looks out of this. I have gone today with, I have some orange all over and I have put some of this sort of more darker orange on the outer creases, a reddy orange. And then I went along my lower lash line with this sort of bronzy shade, it's a reddy bronzy shade. And I also, there's shades there, there's matte shades that are really, really useful for your crease and for just setting it down. and. You know, you have greys as well as browns and stuff, matte-wise. It's a really good palette. For a fiver, this is an absolute bargain. It is a bit powdery, so you will have fallout, so make sure you tap off your brush. But the pigment is really good. And then you've got a selection of, say, like the matte and the shimmer. And the, it blends well, it wears really well. Obviously, you need a primer on there for it to wear really well, but it just... Like I got this lovely sort of pumpkin-y autumnal kind of look out of it. I've got the pumpkins in the background. I was feeling inspired. But it's just really nice. Really, really enjoy it and definitely recommend checking it out. And it's perfect for autumn. I mean, seriously, look at those shades. Absolutely perfect for autumn. Now we're kind of done with the makeup stuff, but I have a beauty product. That looks a wee bit ominous on the side of the screen. I have this beauty product. It's actually a toothbrush. Toothbrush, you say? Yes. Now this is uh, one of these Sonic toothbrushes, and I was lucky enough to be sent this. So this, but this isn't a paid review or any sort of nonsense like that. It's just I travel a lot, and they were like, "Well, would you like to try it out?" And I said, "Yes, please." I have already had a lipstick smudge on it on the button, which is a wee bit annoying, but you can tell I've been using it. This is, like I said, it's one of the Sonic ones, so it's not going to jig a bite. But can you hear it? If I put it really close. So it has that, it's not got a vibrating head as such, but it's, you know, it's sonic move. You know what I mean, it's not physically going like that. It's kind of vibrating at you. Hence me chuckling at the shape of it. Anybody else get that? Very, very handy though. It's got, down the bottom you can pull it out and it's got a micro USB charger at the bottom. So very, very handy for me when I'm traveling. I don't have to worry about bringing extra cables. I don't have to worry about the adaptability of the plug into the socket and I'm going from so for example, I was in Manchester last week. I'm going to Philadelphia next week. Uh, I'm going back to Ireland at the end of the year and we're going to Iceland in a few more months. So I don't have to worry about adaptability or anything else. Very handy. This came charged and I've used it for five days and I haven't, needed to I haven't had to charge it as yet. So I'm really impressed and it does a really good job of cleaning your teeth. You know sometimes with the travel toothbrushes if with a smaller head, your teeth don't necessarily always feel as clean as they would with your regular toothbrush. Not an issue with this at all. I'm really, like honestly, I am so impressed. I'm actually tempted to get my husband one as well, sort of as a little stocking filler. They're only 20 quid and I just, they're really good. I would actually be tempted to use this every day as my toothbrush. I might just do that. Um, but yeah, really and truly impressed with this. Very, very, very handy to have. And it's just perfect for popping in your bag. You don't have to worry about if it goes off in your bag, you know, if the button gets pressed while it's in your wash bag. You're like, oh, I have to charge it when I get there and I'm gonna have to sort it all out. It's so handy. You can just pop up at the end, plug it in, away you go, problem solved. And something else that annoys me, because I use an electric toothbrush generally. You can never get a little head that covers it properly and is secure. It rattles around a bit and sometimes it can pop off. 
this it pops on and it's just like it's really secure it's not falling off or anything and it's also kind of cute looking you know i like the color and stuff but it does a really good job cleaning your teeth because i am a bit of a thing about clean teeth I drink a lot of black tea and black coffee and everything else so I'm always worried about my teeth becoming stained again. I did have them bleached a while ago before the wedding, so it's a couple of years ago. So I'm trying to hold on to it as much as possible. I'm a funny feeling I'm going to have to do them again soon, but for now, all the toothbrushes, all the good electric toothbrushes and sonic toothbrushes. Win! Now, I have one life favourite to this kind of a two for one. I'm looking down because I've got my phone here. Um, it's actually... Uh, headphones excuse me these are JVC headphones they're Bluetooth headphones and they're nice and small and they fit on my ears really really well these aren't particularly expensive I got them a wee while ago and they're the best thing ever because with my phone I have a lot of audiobooks on my phone as you do and podcasts and everything else and the cable it's got one of these um, USB-C ports for headphones People. there's no headphone port so instead of searching specifically for wired headphones that would work and blah, blah blah I decided to just go and get myself some Bluetooth headphones and it was the best thing ever I can just leave this in my pocket I don't have to worry about cables or anything else and I'm when I'm out walking about all the time which I try to go out at least a couple of times a week I was going out once a day and then I've been away and everything else so meh but when I'm traveling, when I'm on the train, when I'm doing anything, I don't have to worry about my cable getting caught. There's nothing more annoying, really. The amount of times you zip up your coat and then your cable's inside your coat and you go to move your head and you pull an ear out trying to sort yourself. Not the way forward. So these have been an absolute godsend. They're not the cheapest, they're not the most expensive. The sound is pretty good. I would like a bit more bass to it and I wish they were noise cancelling. That's the one thing I wish I had actually held out and got some noise cancelling ones. These aren't noise cancelling, so but very very handy and just as a twofer excuse me my favorite book um, in the last month has been the keeper of lost things by Ruth Hogan and I finished this it's really good it's really really well written it flows so nicely the stories that interweave throughout are just so very well done it doesn't feel any kind of jarring because there are different stories throughout there's no jarring, it's just, it feels like it all just fits together so very well and you become really involved in the characters' lives, they very much come to life. I love writers that can write life well. It's not that they're specifically focusing on romance or, you know, and danger and all this, uh, you know, if they can write about life really well, I'm always impressed and it's the likes of me of Binchy, for example. Yes, there's a fair amount of romance and things, but it's more about life and the relationships you have in life and that kind of stuff. I just always enjoy them. I enjoy a good writer like that. So really enjoyed that audiobook. Definitely recommend checking it out. It's just such a nice listen and I was a bit bereft when it was over. I was like, no, oh, tempted to listen to it again, just in case. So really, really enjoyed it. But that's it for this month's favorites. I guess plural months there. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And if the tutorial for my eye look and sort of makeup isn't up yet, it will be very soon. You can keep your eyes open for that. So I'm just cleaning my hand as I talk to you. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Um, thanks a million for everything. And thanks for all the feedback I'm getting from the vlogs and everything else. It's really nice. I've started posting them again and sort of just enjoying being on YouTube again and not being as stressed about, I have to do X, Y, and Z, and I have to look like this, and blah, blah, blah. no. I've just kind of just gone back to enjoying playing with YouTube. So thank you for all the positive feedback, and for all of you new lovely people that have come along, welcome. Hello, how are you? Leave your name and say hi down below. Maybe don't leave your name, but you can say hi down below, that'd be really good. Anyway, I told you it was in a funny mood. I'm gonna shoot away on. Thanks Millie for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell all of your friends and share this stuff and I will see you in the next video. Bye!